కేంద్ర ఎన్నికల సంఘం మూడు రోజుల హైదరాబాద్ పర్యటనపై ప్రెస్ మీట్ నిర్వహిస్తోంది ఇప్పుడు లైవ్ చూద్దాం the expenditure limit of the candidate should be enhanced one party mentioned that non partisan action against any complaint irrespective of political party basically level playing field parties welcome dci's initiative of home voting for elderly and pwds they requested for enhancing electoral participation in urban areas also ensuring purity of electoral rolls deployment of capf on critical locations deployment of micro observers in the polling stations especially in urban areas stop impersonation on poll day do webcasting of polling stations vigil over hate speech and social media uniform rate list for items across the state for including in the expenditure so this is what is the overall uh, suggestions given to us i'll respond to them as and when either with this topic or at the end so friends coming to the overview of uh, electors in the state of telangana as you know there are 119 constituencies of which 88 are general 12 are sts and 19 are scs the total electors as per the roll published yesterday and it is published in all the five poll going states together on 4th of october in telangana total electors are 3.17 crore and very happy position that male and female are almost equal at 1.58 and 1.58 crores this is an empowerment of the women which also i'll speak in detail later we made efforts to make the voter list very inclusive and worked with great deal with the enrollment of the transgenders so we have been able to register 2557 transgenders and persons with disability marked in our electors roll are 5 lakh and 6000 this is again our efforts to make our electoral rolls inclusive and include every section of the society 80 plus voters are 4.43 of which 7,689 are 100 plus. This is again a very happy situation that we have the blessings of our seniors, 80 plus and 100 plus in these states, and they are all part of our voter list. Friends, another effort was made to include the young voters. So between 18 and 19, the young voters number is 8.11 lakhs, which is also a very encouraging trend now coming to the transparency and equal opportunity measures which were taking while preparing the electoral rolls deletions are done only when form 7 is received no so moto deletion it is only and only after receiving a form and doing a ground verification even even in the case of registered deaths the certificates verification was mandatory all deletions have been verified at the level of officers and wherever deletions took place this is just to give you an assurance that this is correct 10% of the total deletions randomly selected and again gee check further wherever the total number of deletions in any constituency is more than 2% this has to be mandatorily cross checked and verified by the ero so the this is about the uh, deletion part now about the purity of the electoral rolls so the overview is like 22 lakhs voters have been deleted through an intensive process of 222 and 23 this is part of making it a pure uh, initially i talked about inclusiveness now i'm talking about the purity i'll also talk about the accuracy part of it 14 lakh dad duplicate voters deleted during 22 and 7.9 lakhs during 23 uh, how do we then next now there was a legacy issue in the state that 
many high-rise buildings, there were issues. So, 757 teams were made for covering 4,605 RWAs, covering 14.57 lakh households. And 50,000 Form 6 and 8 were received either to add the new voters or to make the corrections. Door numbers, address verifications, having more than six voters across the state. This was another exercise which was taken. There was a, there were complaints here that uh, one house number has uh, many more voters. So you must have also been reading and reporting about this. So what was done? All households across the state, which has more than six voters, that list was fetched from the system. So the number came to 7.66 lakh houses identified with over 75.97 lakh voters across the state. This was the number of voters which these uh, households had, of which 4.15 lakh voters identified for address correction. So somebody's house was a different number, it was an oblique number, whatever that was corrected. Uh, transparency in uh, this. So, both we have just said vision of transparency in entire electoral process. Before that, while doing the electoral rolls uh, exercise over two years, over this uh, uh, SSR 23, first and second, there were more than 1,000 meetings held with the representatives of the political parties at different levels, districts and the state, so that at every stage, whenever you publish, you receive claims, you have objections, you dispose of objections at every stage, you have a discussion and you have the transparency and disclosures. Now, coming to the transparency in overall process from roll to poll to counting, the process is so inclusive and so transparent that at every stage of updation of electoral rolls, as I mentioned, the political parties were involved and more than 1,000 meetings took place in SSR 1 and SSR 2, 23. Similarly, FLC commissioning, symbol loading, mock polls, storage of EBMs, booth level agents, at every stage, the, the hallmark is, the philosophy underlying is that we disclose, we make it transparent, and then we also involve and take suggestions. Next. Now, how do we make it inclusive? So now number one is the focus on youth, 8.11 lakh voters as I mentioned. And last year, before last year if you remember, we made an amendment in the Act. The eligibility date for becoming a voter was 1st January of the year. We changed it to 1st of the every quarter. Means throughout the year, whosoever is becoming 18 need not wait for the next year's 1st January. Because of this, Four qualifying dates, 2.21 lakhs new voters have been identified and added in the electoral rolls in Telangana, meaning thereby again, they would be able to vote in this election because of this amendment. And gender ratio in this group, age group 18 to 19, which is our focus group, because they are the future of the, of the country, has increased from 707 to 743 means more girls have come, still we have to add many more. Now, coming to the focus on women, as I mentioned in the beginning, the number of voters, male and female, is now 1.58 each crores, 1.58 crores each. The gender ratio is 998. And now, how do we, in, in 18 to 19, I mentioned women voters is 3.45 lakhs. But now, how do we ensure that they come and vote? So we are identifying 66 ACs where elector gender ratio is less than 1000. Average is 998, so we still want to work and make it, though it's almost 100% now 1.58, 1.58, but still there are constituencies 66 where it is less than 1000 and we are working on it. And similarly, there are 18,659 polling stations where women Voter turnout rate is less than the male turnout rate. We are going to focus there also. So it is not only a happy situation of enrollment of women, young children 18 to 19, but also identifying constituencies where they are not for any reason able to come to vote so that we go there, have an outreach 
and request them to please come and put. Friends, another aspect of the inclusion, I mean, if, if, if you look at the entire uh, electoral roll, it has 18 to 19, it has 80 plus, it has 100 plus, it has PTGs, PVTGs, it has transgenders. So PVTGs, what we did, we have four PVTGs in uh, Telangana. This is also we are doing everywhere. Overall, to just inform you, there are 75 PVTGs in the country. We are doing it everywhere. As regards Telangana, there are Chinchu, Kolam, Thoti and Kondareti. Population being 59,583 and eligible 39,000. And happy to report, all of them are now our voters. This is the inclusive part. Nobody should be left behind. Every vote counts and every vote matters to us. We will go last mile to not only enroll, but also to request them and come and vote. Similarly, the third gender. Uh, we have a, a state icon. Their number has increased to 2556. We have made certain changes in the form. If they do not have parents' name or for any reason, whatever their requirements, we are making, we have made those changes so that we take in the name of the guru and others. But the underlying idea is to register all of them. After this, giving you this overview of voters, let me give an overview of polling stations. There are total 35,356 polling stations. And average number of voters on each is 897. All these slides will be shared with you so that if you want to use, you can use it. The rural areas have 20,000, predominantly more. We'll do around 78% here, the webcasting. Uh, our mandate is to do minimum 50. The CO is deciding to do it is 27,000. We will have both polling stations which will be exclusively managed by the persons with disability, with youth who are young, with women and modal peers. Why? The philosophy behind it is to showcase, to tell that this booth is managed by all our women, including security forces, all managed by persons with disabilities. So they are not uh, looking for a sympathy, they are equal to us. So this is how it will happen. Now, coming to the enhanced voter experience, I have said that this is how we will increase the model PS polling stations with PWD so that people have larger uh, uh, comfort while coming to the voters. All polling stations will have uh, minimum facilities of toilet, drinking water, signage, ramp, and also the volunteers for helping the persons with disability. Friends, first time in Telangana, there would be a facility available to all our senior citizens who are 4.43 lakhs, 80 plus, to vote from the comfort of their home if they so want. This is the facility given to them. Though it is an administrative exercise for us, we have to go for fetching a boat, but they can apply within five days of the notification by filing a form that is called 12T and we will go to their home and that whenever we go so that their boat is not, secrecy is not uh, compromised, this route would be publicized, it would be shared with political parties, it would be videographed and the privacy would be maintained by making a compartment right there as we do it on the booth. So this is our uh, respect and uh, um, salute to the senior citizens.